Driving on St. Helena is probably the best way to discover and experience this tiny Atlantic island. Although walking around is perfectly safe, the mountainous terrain can be quite a challenge. Using a car for transportation brings with it a certain freedom to linger and explore, especially in the more remote locations, where the scenery can be quite spectacular. Public transport on St. Helena is limited, so car hire is a popular option for visitors. The Inside St. Helena app has rates and contact details for local car hire services. It's worth noting, many of the hire drive vehicles come with manual gearboxes. This being a British island, cars drive on the left-hand side of the road. At this time, seatbelts are not a mandatory requirement. However, their use is on the increase. You'll soon get used to a few local practices when driving on St. Helena. Waving to drivers in other cars as you pass each other is quite normal. Because of the restricted views on bendy roads, it won't take long to appreciate how useful the car horn can be. And driving in general can sometimes be a stop-start affair, with Top Gear hardly ever engaged. New arrivals may drive on a valid overseas driver's license for three months. The minimum driving age on St. Helena is 18 years of age. Drivers over 70 will need to pass a regular medical exam. St. Helena's winding road network totals 73 miles or 118 kilometers. All this within an island that is just eight miles long by six miles wide. In addition, there are a few rough tracks to remote areas that can be explored with a four-wheel drive vehicle. Distances can be deceiving when looking at the map. The terrain itself is mostly hills and valleys, which adds significant time to journeys across the island. Narrow roads and hairpin turns require plenty of concentration. Road safety mirrors, now being placed in more and more turnings, are helpful. However, sounding the horn to alert other drivers of your presence when going around blind bends is highly recommended. Drivers make use of passing bays on single lane roads. Here on Ladder Hill Road, these black and white paddles indicate passing bay locations. The St. Helena Highway Code gives clear instructions for vehicles meeting on narrow roads. On a level road, the smaller vehicle should give way to the larger one. On a hill, the vehicle going downhill is required to give way to the vehicle coming up. If necessary, the descending vehicle should reverse to a suitable passing space. And wherever you are, do not park in passing bays. Being comfortable with handbrake hill starts and reversing is definitely an advantage. Road signage for navigating the island is minimal. Directions offered from tourist maps are also quite basic. Sat-nav systems are not really used here. However, the Google Maps app, once preloaded, can be quite a helpful tool for finding your way around. That said, St. Helena is small, and it doesn't take long to get your bearings from some very prominent landmarks that make it hard for anyone to ever be truly lost. And if in doubt, always feel free to ask a local for directions. They will be happy to help. There are around 3,200 registered vehicles on the island, with an average of 10 new vehicles being registered every month. Traffic is heavier in Jamestown than anywhere else. Parking is free. Because the public transport system is limited, it's not surprising that finding a parking space can be a challenge especially during business hours in town, and also the busy Christmas season. Parking at the seafront railings may be seen as a relief at first glance. However, beware of random waves on relatively calm days, and rough seas which break over the seawall. Vehicles could easily get drenched with salt water, 
the owner of your higher drive would not be happy. The national speed limit is 30 miles per hour and 10 to 20 miles per hour in residential areas. The airport access road, running from Rupert's Valley to the airport, opened in June 2019 and is now the island's most modern highway. It is perhaps the only road where the speed limit and top gear can be achieved safely for more than just a brief moment. Another requirement of the St. Helena Highway Code is dipped headlights at night in Jamestown. And do not sound the vehicle horn in Jamestown between the hours of 7 p.m. and 7 a.m., except in an emergency to avoid an accident. Always practice good road courtesy and drive safely around this beautiful island. Don't get too distracted by the views. Enjoy St. Helena. <laughs>